Tēnā tato katoa. In the news headlines, it's steady as she goes as far as the relationship between the Green and the National Parties are concerned. Formal discussions between the two parties were held this afternoon. Green Party co-leader Matiria Ture says the talks have been constructive. We have agreed that there won't be an extension agreement between the Greens and National for this term of government. Um, our MOU continues and we will be talking early in the next year about how to extend or add new issues to it. National MP Lockwood Smith is again the Speaker of Parliament. No one else was nominated for the role and he was duly appointed following the correct swearing-in of all 121 MPs. Hone Harawira wants to talk with Parliament Speaker about the Oath of Allegiance. The Mana Party leader told Speaker Lockwood Smith when he was sworn in as an MP today that he believes the nature of the oath needs reform. I look forward to the opportunity to sit down with you and others in the very near future to talk about the way in which we might advance the notion that the oath better reflect who it is we are in Aotearoa, our treaty and the people that we represent. Occupy Dunedin appears to have shut up shop. The city's mayor, Dave Cull, couldn't be happier that there are no tents in sight on Upper Octagon. The anti-capitalism protesters began camping in October with more than 100 protesters in about 30 tents. In international news, it's unlikely the death of North Korea's dictator will change New Zealand's relationship with the closed-off communist country. Prime Minister John Key says the transition to Kim Jong-il's third son will be interesting and hopes Kim Jong-un recognises the challenges facing his nation, including high levels of poverty and backs away from nuclear threats. The Australian government is trying to find the next of kin of a group of World War II prisoners killed while escaping or recaptured, then executed by their Japanese captors. 20 prisoners of war who were killed were, while escaping during World War II will be posthumously awarded the commendation of gallantry. Venus Williams has pulled out of the ASB Tennis Classic. Health reasons are being cited for her withdrawal. The news has disappointed many New Zealand tennis fans who were looking forward to seeing her play here. And in the Southland, investigations of a piece of early Māori history is underway. Southland historian Lloyd Isler discovered what may be a pre-European waka lying in the sands at Omawi Beach. He says the waka is in very good condition, considering it may have been there for several hundred years. You can see the ads marks in the inside where the, the individual chips from the stone ads have taken out a wee flake of wood. And Kati, that's it from the Rima News team. You can catch our hourly headlines on Shine TV from 6.30 to 9.30pm every weeknight. Pōmārie.